Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah. Father, I pray that as people tune into this broadcast, that in the next few minutes, their lives will be changed forever. Father, I pray your spirit will be felt. I pray that your word will be heard as you have intended it to be spoken. In Jesus' name, for the glory of the Father. And Lord, I pray that like I said earlier, their lives will never be the same. Father, make the people that watch... Ah, Make the people that watch lamps of burning fire for you, Lord. That you may light the way through them, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Bishop Robert Williams, God bless you, my brother. I love you. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to wait for a few more people to tune in, and I hope people will share this message in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter. And let's start at 19 and go to verse 21. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start at verse 19 and go to 21. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. And the contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life. Not life and death. Let's go back to the way it was written in the Bible. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. It's amazing to me how many people walk around offended in the kingdom of God. They're born again, spirit-filled, love the Lord, but yet they have this issue in their tissue where they keep getting offended in the kingdom. But I want to let you know something today. God is here to help you control your mouth. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to entitle the message right now, this day, The Power is in Your Mouth. The power is in your mouth. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you something. Like I said, a lot of people in the body of Christ walk around offended. They, they get so easily hurt. They get so easily offended. They got soft skin on their heart instead of a tougher skin. And... Let me tell you, as a prophet, I've worn my heart on my sleeve all my life. I do. As a minister of God's Word, I wear my heart on my sleeve. 
But you know what? It's because I've got a, a soft heart. But sometimes we need to learn how to have a tougher mentality. Soft heart, but tougher skin. Are you hearing what I'm preaching? Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Brother Robert, God bless you. Brother Daniel, Vico, God bless you, brother. Brody, God bless you. Bishop Robert, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. But he's talking about, in the book of Proverbs, Solomon is a brother in the Lord that gets offended and we lose that brother for a season. He goes away for a season. Just like with Jesus and Peter. When Peter got rebuked by Jesus, he went away. He went away and pouted and then got over it. But there's a lot of people still in the pulpit, still in the pew, pouting about something that was said or done five, ten years ago, and they're still holding on to that internal hell that's in their life, and they don't know how to let it go. Do you know James, the brother of Jesus, said, Lord, put a muzzle over my mouth. You know what? He remembered what Jesus told the other disciples when they got offended and said, Lord, call down fire from heaven to consume our enemies. Like Elijah did. Everybody kept going back to Elijah. And Sister Teresa, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But everybody kept going back to Elijah. And they said, why don't we just call fire down from heaven, Lord, to kill all our enemies? And Jesus said, you don't know what spirit you're with. He said that he came not to destroy people. He didn't come to destroy those cities. He came to give them an opportunity to hear the truth to hear the love of the Father. Now, if they wanted to accept it or not, that was up to them. He said, you don't know what spirit you're of. And I really believe when he was saying that, he was saying that Elijah really didn't know the, the authority that he had. He knew that he had authority, but he didn't really realize what spirit he was supposed to operate in in the kingdom of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Elijah had sort of like a fire and brimstone message where he wanted to call fire down on all these cities. And, and, and you know, here's the thing. The Bible says that if we could speak with the tongues of angels and understand all of the mysteries, and have not loved, we are nothing but a clanging symbol. The Bible says that how can two walk together lest they agree? Now you ain't always going to agree with me. I ain't always going to agree with you, but we can still walk together. Why? Because we can agree to disagree. We can agree to walk in love even if I don't agree with the way your denomination's running things, if we agree that the blood of Jesus saves us, that His Holy Spirit has lived, come to live inside of us, hallelujah, Holy Ghost, that settles it, my friend. We can agree to walk in love. But if you can't agree to walk in love with me, then you're not really doing what God called you to do. Come on, somebody. Amen. That, that, that's good preaching. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But he said that the reason that they're snapping at you, notice what I'm saying again. He said the reason that they're getting so honorary with you and, and their attitude is like the bars of a, of a great castle, he said is because they're building up walls 
to fight against you, but let me tell you, let's go on and see a little bit further what Jesus said about the matter of spiritual maturity. See, I've heard the saying for years, to, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. True statement. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But to err is human, to forgive is divine. Yes, you need God's help to forgive. I don't care what the situation was. You need God's help to forgive that person. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Amen. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 12. And if he shall neglect to hear them, Tell it unto the church, but if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto these, unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever shall loo you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. That person you really want to win back to God may be acting like a heathen right now. They may be acting like a straight hellion. They may be living their life the best way they couldn't or shouldn't, I mean. They're living their life any which way but free. God's saying if you'll come into agreement and into prayer, not with the person, but with another brother or sister in Christ. Amen. That's right, Sister Teresa. The church needs to hear this. It is time for spiritual maturity. You're right. Absolutely. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord's tired of His people living in offense. There's a lot of people stuck, as Brother Steve Muncy said, there's a lot of people stuck in scandal on. They're trapped because of offense. Do you know the offense, the Bible says, goes down and dries up the bones? It makes a person sick. Physically spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, it makes them sick. Offense. Just getting offended. I had no idea I was going here. The Lord just totally shifted the message, but that's all right. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Blessing, Sister Cheryl. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister. Amen. Thank the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. But Jesus said, Blessed are you when men shall persecute you and, and lie about you and speak all manners of evil about you for my name's sake. And he said, Blessed are you. That, he said, Let me, let me tell y'all. He said, Offense will come. He said there's no avoiding it. Everybody is going to end up getting offended with the church sometime in their life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. And he said, offense will come, but woe of the who it comes. That's right, Sister Teresa. Offense will keep us from doing the will of the Father. That's why we got to get out of being stuck in scandal law. 
We got to get out of that spirit of offense because there is power of death and life in our tongue. See, Solomon said, I've observed human nature and we are so quick to speak death instead of life. He said death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Now he said in the chapter of Matthew 18, he said, if your brother comes back to you, you've gained the brother. You've regained him back. But if he won't listen, if you see your brother living in sin, you go to him. You go to him privately. Here's the thing. A lot of people want to play God games on Facebook. I'm going to say it like that. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. They want to call everybody out by name and by everything that they've done or had not done right. Want to put it out there for the world to see instead of being like the sons of... Hallelujah. Instead of being like the sons of Noah that cared for their father and covered up his nakedness, they want to be like the church that showed the nakedness of the father. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But, see, here's the thing. Jesus said we're to go to Him privately, not publicly. Go to Him alone. If He shall not hear, if He shall hear thee, you've gained a brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee, Matthew 18, 15 through 17. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. That in the mouth of two or more, the, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Now understand this. There's a lot of he said, she said in the church. But when you get men of God and women of God together that know your character, you can speak to that spirit that's lying through that person saying, I bind that and, and say, I bind that in Jesus' name. You have the authority, the power within your mouth to shut that devil down. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Verily I say unto you, well, let's go ahead and read on to verse 17. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And if he shall neglect to hear them, those three that come in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. He said... Let, he said, make every effort to get that person back to you. Make every effort to make forgiveness, to set things right. The Bible says, don't let your evil, be, I mean, don't let your good be evilly spoken of. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry about that. I messed that up, y'all. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Don't let your good be evilly spoken of. Are you hearing me? Because our good deeds are as filthy rags, minstrel rags, before the Almighty God. Before the scales of God's justice, our good deeds are as filthy rags.
but God's goodness and the works of God are great and beautiful and pure. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's why Jesus said, let your light so shine before man that they would see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Are you hearing me? It's not about us. It's about Him. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. It's not about us. It's about Him in us. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to get ready to close the message in a minute. I've been, I've been live for 20 minutes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Verse 19. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching any or one thing, it shall... Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall touch and agree on earth, touch shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst. He's saying, you can't do nothing. The people in your prayer group, all they can do, all you can do is pray for that beloved that, that's gone away, that's, that's living a sinful life, that's out there who loves the Lord and knows the Lord, but somehow or another they've fallen by the wayside amen thank you holy ghost i love you lord jesus amen praise the lord remember the power of death and life are in our tongue and those that love it will eat the fruit thereof amen thank you lord jesus amen so Check that out, will you? Let's learn to watch our mouth in the church because Isaiah 54, 17 declares these words right here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He said, No weapon formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, you shall condemn it in judgment. For this is the heritage of the sons of God and their vindication is from me, says the Lord. Their vindication. The verdict is in. The case is closed. The gavel has fell in your favor and my favor because we're children of the Most High God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Remember when somebody comes running their mouth at you that we wrestle not, Ephesians 6 and 12, against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the workers of the rulers of the darkness of this present age. There's a lot of people that don't even know that they got a principality personality. They think it's, you, you think it's them. No, it ain't them. It's that principality ministering, using, speaking through them. If it don't line up with the Word of God, then it ain't from God, baby. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. But that's what the Lord laid on my heart today to tell you. Because remember, Jesus and Peter was talking. Jesus just promoted Peter in the kingdom. And the next thing you know, Jesus says, Get thee behind me, Satan. He was speaking to the principality personality that was in Peter. He said, Peter, 
He said, listen up. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. He wasn't talking to Peter. He was talking to the spirit that was behind Peter's lips. Because Satan used him as a puppet. He came right up behind his back and started talking. I'm going to do a sermon with my puppets one day soon. Very soon, actually. And, you know, there's a lot of so-called prophets out there that are puppet prophets. They are used as a puppet for the evil one. They let him do the talking while they do the walking. It looks good, sounds good, but it, it, it ain't from God. Come on, somebody. If it don't line up with that Bible, then it ain't from God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. But he said, Peter, get... But he was talking to, to the spirit behind Peter, and he says... Get thee behind me, Satan. He didn't say Peter. He says, Satan. For thou art, catch this, an offense unto me. What happened? Even Jesus got offended. Glory to God. But he didn't let the offense stay. The moment Jesus sent, an offense. He took care of the offense. He sent it back to the devil that it came from. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He sent it back to that devil that it came from. You know why a lot of people are still sick in their bodies? After a minister of God prays for them, it wouldn't that they wouldn't heal well, the enemy's going to come back with a, a symptom. Not the same sickness because Jesus healed you from it. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So what happened? The enemy hits you with a symptom and you say, well, maybe I didn't get my healing. Boom. It comes back on you double fold because of what you just said out of your mouth. You remember in the Bible that there was a king by the name of Nebuchadnezzar and he thought he was the stuff boy he thought he was hot stuff he thought his kingdom was so big and everything that he had done and the Bible said that while the words were still fresh on his lips he didn't even utter them God passed a judgment upon Nebuchadnezzar. Why? Because he wanted to save Nebuchadnezzar. And he knew if Nebuchadnezzar opened up his mouth, he'd be damned. He'd be condemned instantly. God said, I want to save the tree. So if I'm going to save the tree, what do I got to do? I got to shut the mouth. You know, that? that's what happened to... Zacchaeus, I mean, uh, Zachariah, the uncle of Jesus. Glory, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Zacchaeus, um, Zachariah, the uncle of Jesus, he started to speak something that was negative. He, he started to doubt the prophecy that he knew was of God. And then out of his mouth, he began to curse the destiny of his own son. And the angel said, from this day until the child is born, you will not be able to speak. <laughs> and shut that man's mouth like the angel shut the mouth of the lion. Have you ever felt like a lion in a den of Daniels, though? I tell you what. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. There's a lot of people that are so doggone religious. When you get around them, you feel like a bunch of lion in a den of Daniels. You can't open your mouth, and they just everywhere. They surrounding you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. 
I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Well, glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, give us a watch over our mouth. Give us a guard over our mouth. Don't let us be consumed by us, but let us be consumed by you, Lord. Let us be not conformed, but let us be transformed by the Word of God and by the changing of our mind as we read the Word. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're watching this video and you say, Brother HR, that's me, I want to... I want to know the Jesus that you're talking about. I want to know the Lord personally. If that's you, pray with me wherever you are. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me. Cleanse me. Fill me with your precious Holy Spirit that I might make heaven my home. Let it be, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. The Bible says, Brother Donald, God bless you. Amen, hallelujah. The Bible says, that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So I'm praying that God changes your language today. I'm praying God give you a language of love. I'm praying that God give you a language of healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. That everything that comes from your mouth will be directly from the throne room of God. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord. My God and my Redeemer. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right now, I just thank you, Lord, for Everybody that prayed that prayer with me in Jesus' name, I pray that they'll write to me and let me know what God has done for them. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus, write to me. Let me know what God's done for you. Hour for Revival at Yahoo.com. Hour for Revival at Yahoo.com. Your, your uh message I'm looking forward to reading. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Now, if you're sick in your body, I curse every devil of sickness. I command a creative miracle in your body, from the body part rooms in heaven, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus, and I declare that by the stripes of Jesus Christ you are healed, completely made whole, lacking nothing, sozo, saved in Jesus' name. Amen. I command every bondage spirit to loose you and let you go free. Every attack of a bondage, every addiction, receiving addiction by holy conviction in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, for those watching, this is a very important prayer. If you would like to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray right now that Jesus would baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire because Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it now. Rock!
Rakosho Renda Raba Shanda Rabo Saya Brenda Raba Kashanda Rabo Sanda Breda Baba Bakatoranda Rabo Shahi Branda Baranda Rekebo Shanda Rabo Sa Do it Lord Fill them up to overflow in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, glory, hallelujah. That's all the time I have for today. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you in the next meeting, or I'll see you in the air in heaven. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for more videos like this on YouTube. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sister Teresa. You said that the word was... A very good word. Thank you so much. Amen. Brother Jonathan, God bless you. Glad you could tune in as well. Amen. Love y'all. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival.